your love hate coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, that's quite a statement and quite a question, isn't it? Does your love hate? And yet, man, there's so many people that think that Christians are people who hate, not love. And sometimes we say, I love you, so I'm going to keep you accountable. I love you, so I'm going to correct you. I love you, so I'm going to hate everything you do as sinful. When we use the word love and hate, and our actions really show hate. You know, folks, it's so important that you and I begin to love unconditionally. And there are some things that I repeat over and over and over again. I know that. And after, uh, well, thousands of podcasts now, seriously, you've heard this before. But it's such a good reminder. You know, I get so many questions about how to treat people. Questions about relationships between husband and wife. Uh, between Christians, between Christians and non-Christians. And a lot of those questions could really be answered if we just consider unconditional love. We've talked about that many times. Love, love, love. Love God, love your neighbor, love yourself. The greatest commandments. And that's why the Bible says all the commandments can be, well, summarized with this. Why? Because it is the foundation. When I remember to love, I don't judge first. When I remember to love, I don't get angry first. And if I do get angry, I remember that the answer is not the anger. The answer is, well, unconditional love. Love, love, love. And folks, if we temper everything we do with unconditional love, we figure it out. You know, I realized that um, after 12 years of feeding the homeless, And I'm not saying, look at me, I'm just saying, here's my example, one of them. Um, The thing that keeps me motivated is not just the job, it's the people. And, you know, it's Monday morning, my back is sore. (laughs) I'm very tired, it's been a long weekend. I've, uh, I've hauled a lot of turkeys this weekend, 160 of them. Um... I've done a lot of orders. I've gotten up early, 6 o'clock in the morning, to go get deliveries. And, you know, it's been a long weekend. I've worked, well, probably a total of 25, 30 hours, probably. And it's been long and grueling, and it's been a chore. Why do I do it? Because every time I go into the bridge and I feed the homeless, Every time I look into their eyes, every time I'm involved with them, I realize how much I love them and everything else disappears. And folks, I think that's the bottom line. When we really learn how to fall in love with people and we learn how to use his love instead of ours, ours is so limited, then we just keep going. Then it answers a lot of questions. And when I get up at six o'clock in the morning to get a, to go get a delivery, I don't think, Wow, should I do this or not? My motivation is I love these people. I I desire to do it. And I hope you're motivated by love as well. It's a wonderful thing. Love, love, love. God bless you. Have a great day.